Building tall towers to set up a zipline system in Grounded is a must if you want to traverse the yard quickly and safely. The biggest challenge is how to get to the top of the towers quickly. The most common way is to use acorn spiral stairs or ladders. While both of those options work, the stairs are very expensive to craft and the ladders are often a pain to build. Additionally, at least for me, sprinting up the spiral stairs nearly triggers motion sickness and climbing the ladders is not very fast. But what if I told you there was a better way to reach the top of your towers? And what if I also told you it was much cheaper and easier to build? In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a simple elevator system that will get you to the top of your tallest build in seconds, and will also use far less resources than using acorn spiral stairs or ladders. Before we continue, make sure to click the subscribe button below and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. Let's get started. So for this video, I built a 10 story tall tower, and I did this so I can show you how quickly you can get to the top of it using an elevator rather than using the stairs. So as you can see, we're overlooking the pond here. So we're gonna jump down real quick. We're gonna show you the different building options you have. Now, as I mentioned, typically the way people build in towers is going to be either the acorn spiral stairs, the grass stairs, or the ladder. The ladder is, the cheap, is pretty cheap. It only costs two weed stems and two acorn tops. But if you play the game, you know that building a ladder in this game can be very painful because you can only build two, I think it's three high. And then after that, you're gonna have to either use stairs to get up to it, you're gonna have to build grass planks to get up to it. Some way you're gonna have to get up there, especially if you're playing by yourself. If you're playing with a friend, you might be able to toss weed stems up to them and they can build it, but you can't build while you're on the ladder. So that makes building ladders kind of tedious in the game. The other option is gonna be the grass stairs or the acorn spiral stairs. Grass stairs are not that great for building inside of buildings if you're trying to build up really tall because they take up a ton of space. These are more used for outside, at least in my opinion. You can use them inside, but not if you're building a really tall tower. Acorn spiral stairs are probably the most common. But as you can see, they're extremely expensive to craft. They cost eight acorn shells, one weed stem, and six crude rope. So for this build, with it being 10 stories tall, it's gonna take nine acorn spiral stairs to get to the top. That would mean you'd have to have 72 acorn shells, nine weed stems, and 54 crude rope. It's kind of a pain in the butt to get all that stuff. It's obviously, you can, it's doable to get it, but it's a pain in the butt. The other thing I mentioned was running up these stairs, it takes a long time, and it also, in my, at least for me, it, it kind of gives me motion sickness because you're spinning around in a circle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna traverse up here real quick and show you exactly how long it takes to get up there. And as you can see, just spinning around in the circle, at least for me, is just kind of, I, I, it bothers me a little bit. So we got up here, it didn't take terribly long, but certainly not the most efficient way. So that's the typical way of building for a tower. Now let's show you the way I use now, which is the elevator method. So this is gonna use a bounce web. The bounce web is, let's find it in the building menu. Bounce web takes two bug rubber and, a, and four sprigs. To make bug rubber, you need one sap and one acid gland. The acid glands could be a little bit expensive because you have to go find bombardier beetles and they don't always drop them. However, you only need three bounce webs to build this entire build right here. So you'd need a total of three acid glands and, or no, I'm sorry, you would need six acid glands and six sap. Not terribly expensive. So killing a bunch, a couple bombardier beetles along the way, you'll be able to get these. Eventually, if you've been playing long enough, you're probably gonna have tons of bug rubber or you can craft tons of bug rubber. So let's hop on here and I'm gonna show you the way it works. And the way it works is you're gonna bounce on this thing right here and it's gonna shoot you up to the next floor. So we bounce up, it pushes us to the next floor, bounce up pushes it to the next floor, bounce up, and it pushes it to the top. So that was much faster to get up there, didn't give me any motion sickness, and it's just gonna help you use far less resources. So how this works is the bounce web, the way I tested it out, and the ideal situation is to have three floor, three and a half floors and then put the roof piece up. So let's go up here real quick and I will show you exactly what I'm talking about. So as you can see, I built the different, I built the walls different colors just to separate them. So the first floor is the sturdy wall. The second floor is the stem wall. The third floor is the other sturdy wall. And then I built this half wall. You cannot place the clover roofs here. So this is the angled clover roof. You cannot place these in the middle of a regular wall. At least I couldn't figure out how to. So the way to do this is to build a half wall. So I used the weed stem wall just to show you if you wanted to use a grass, half grass stem wall, you can do that or the half mushroom brick wall. I just used this to keep the color consistent and show exactly where it was. So basically the bounce web will shoot you up three, it'll shoot you up three blocks before you hit this as it takes up a half a block down there. So you go one, two, three and a half, and then you just repeat that all the way up. And as you can see, you just bounce on here. It's gonna hit you off that angle piece up here and shoot you over there. If you don't put, you don't have to put the angle piece, but if you don't, you're gonna have to make sure you press forward while you're jumping. But pushing the, put it, putting that there will just push you forward usually 
And there you go. So real quick, I will show you over here how to build it. Okay, so just in case you're unsure how I built this, I'm gonna show you exactly how to build it out here. So what we have is a platform here that we're gonna put the bounce web on. If you place the bounce web on the ground, that's fine, but it's just easier to show you how to do it if it's on a flat surface. So we got our platform and then we're gonna build ourselves a three and a half tall wall structure. So we're gonna go with the sturdy wall first here. And we're gonna put a weed stem wall on top of it just to show the different colors. And we're gonna go back to the sturdy wall. We're gonna place a half wall on top. So this is how you build it. Whatever surface level you're on for the bounce web, you wanna make sure you have a wall, a full wall behind it and then three walls up. You could do the half wall down here and three walls up, it doesn't matter. You just need to have three and a half walls because the bounce web is gonna be up to about the halfway mark here. And then up here, I use the clover roofs to push me forward. You could do it without them. If you just hold down forward or the W key, it will let you go forward. I like to put the clover roofs there just because then it pushes me in the right direction. So we got the clover roof up there. And we'll put our bounce web back. One thing I will say is it's easier to put the bounce webs down before you build all the walls. So when I was building this tower, what I did was I built up the walls, built the floor that I was on up here. So the stem floor placed down the bounce tower, then built the rest of the walls around it and then did that for each level. That was much easier because the bounce webs, as you can see, it's like clipping over here. So if I try to place a wall on the side, it might not let me. Let's see if it makes a liar out of me. So uh, yeah, yeah, see, as you can see, it says location obstructed. So I would definitely recommend building your building it piece by piece. So go up three and a half floors and build your next section, then put the bounce web down and go all the way up. It's gonna be easier than it'll let you maneuver the bounce webs around. So that's as simple as that. We bounce up, if we hit it properly, we're gonna get pushed forward by hitting that. So I like to do that because it pushes you forward to the next tile over and you just walk over and repeat that, repeat that all the way up. And that's gonna help you get to the top of your zip line towers, the top of your tall bases that you built or you could even build it to get on top of the retaining wall or any other tall structures around the map. So that's how to build a simple elevator system in Grounded. Not only will you be able to reach the top of your tallest builds faster, you'll also use far less resources. If you have other ideas for how to use the bounce webs, let me know in the comments below. It's always interesting to see how others are playing the game and being created with the resources available. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button as it will help to get this video out to more people just like you. If you want to support the channel even more, you can become a channel member by clicking the join button below. You'll unlock loyalty badges, custom emotes, and possibly get your name in the credits of future videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.